Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So now we are going to start with the week number two. This is the second week. Um, we are going to have some uh, different topics today. And through these four days, because we are going to have the uh, week number two, and then we are going to uh, continue learning and more topics um, that are going to be very useful for us uh, in the process of learning English. And also, because maybe you are going to remember some topics, some information that you have about uh, these uh, topics, and now we are going to continue learning or uh, remembering all the information that we have about these topics. Um, also, we are going to have one of the most like interesting topics or easy to understand that are the adjectives, the use of adjectives, how to create sentences, and how uh, can we use adjectives to describe a specific thing. But um, the first thing that we are going to do is to learn or to uh, read the information that we have about the adjective, and then we are going to put into practice all the information that we have about that topic and in some practices that we are going to do. But they are not like very difficult to do because in that case, you are just describing something. And uh, we are going to have a first, um, uh, general information about the topic of the adjective, then we are going to divide that information into more specific details. Also, we are going to have a vocabulary related to adjectives, or in this case, this vocabulary is related to a specific description of something. We are going to have a description of something. And then we are going to have like some exercises that we are going to develop in order to uh, know uh, if we are learning the topic of adjective. And then we are going to change the topic and we are going to talk about another thing. But the topic that we are going to develop tonight and maybe tomorrow, because it's not like it is going to be very short. It's going to be kind of long, but in this case, we are going to see general information. We are going to see some examples. We are going to uh, see how to describe, how to use them, and how to pronounce the, the, the words. And in this case, we are going to have um, different classification of, of the adjective. And we are going to see the information of those classification and how can we use it in our daily life. And then we are going to see the vocabulary that we have for that specific thing that we are going to do in this topic. Then we are going to see some uses of the adjectives, for example, to make comparisons of some things and all of that. Así que vamos a hablar mucho de lo que son los adjetivos. Vamos a eh, aprender más de ellos, ver cuáles son las clasificaciones, cómo lo podemos utilizar. Vamos a ver un vocabulario específico de los adjetivos. Vamos a tener algunos cuantos ejercicios. But not just in one day. Eh, maybe this week is going to be like, we are going to have at least three days in which we are going to be talking about the adjectives because in that case, it is a long topic. 
uh, because the, it has a lot of information, uh, a lot of uses, and uh, we are going to divide it. So in that case, we are going to use that topic for at least three days, and then we are going to talk about another topic in the last day. But the first thing that we are going to do um, tonight is to see the phrase for today. That is, at the beginning of the session and the beginning of the week. So remember that I have uh, this kind of uh, sentences that I like to share with you at the beginning of the week. So let's see. For today's session, we are going to have this um, phrase in which it said, success is a journey, not a destination. Success is more than the ending of the, of the work. It's not the ending of our uh, project. It is not the ending of all the things that we want to do in our life. Success is more than that. Success is the way we do things. Um, is the journey. Is uh, travel. And in that case, the success is like the way we learn new things and apply in our lives. So in that case, remember that you are learning something new every day because we. Uh, don't stop learning new things, and I'm not talking about just uh, things that we can find in a school or something like that. We are learning a lot of things in our life, uh, how to talk with people, um, a new language, um, some skills, how to uh, cook a different food, um, how to make a draw, something like that. We are learning every single day. So in this case, success is a journey, not a destination. It is not the end of the, uh, the travel. Así que el éxito no es, el éxito es el viaje, ¿verdad? No el destino al que queremos llegar. Tenemos que disfrutar todo el proceso, sea bueno, sea malo, tenga cosas buenas, cosas malas, pero nos va a enseñar algo. Vamos a aprender siempre algo de esa situación en la que nos vamos a encontrar. So, I was saying that we are going to talk about the adjectives. We are going to uh, learn more information about the adjectives. Um, and we are going to start with the general information that we have about them. So, we have here some information, and the first thing that we need to know about the adjective is, what is an adjective? We were talking about a Dan, because this is not like uh, the first time that you learn about this topic, but we are going to remember some information about the adjective. The first thing is that an adjective is a describing word. It tells us something more about a noun. So in that case, you know that the adjectives are describing words. Uh, they function like that because they help us to um, have more information about a noun. And in this case, the noun is related to a person, related to a um, building related to an animal and all of that things. So in that case, it is a describing word that tells us something more about the noun. For example, um, and we are talking about maybe a person, we are going to say um, something physical. Um, we want to tell the other people uh, some characteristic, and in that case, the adjective helps us to give more information about the um, noun that we are using or the people that we are describing. So, the general information is that an adjective is a describing word.
So this is the general information, very short. Es una palabra que describe y nos dice más acerca del de nombre que estamos utilizando. And we have some examples. We have the first one, rainy day. I'm going to create a list. We have the first one, rainy day. Then we have fertile land. Then we have this girl. Those apples. Five fingers. Many questions. Last question. Whose house? Okay, we have here some examples of words. In this case, nouns that are using some adjectives that are describing the noun. For example, rainy day. This one is the adjective, rainy. Then this one. That is the first uh, word that we have here in the list. Then this. Also, we have those. We have five. Many, love, and who? Okay, in this case, why are they uh, the adjectives? Because in that case, they are telling us something. For example, rainy day. How is the day? It's rainy. Está lloviendo, es bien lluvioso. That is the word, lluvioso. So in that case, it's describing the day. Rainy day or sunny day is also sunny. An adjective that is describing how is the day. Then, in the second one, is una tierra fértil. In that case, it's telling how is the land. Then, this girl está. It's, it's specifying something about the girl. So in that case, this girl, and in this case, this is an adjective because it's telling us something about the girl. Those apples, aquellas manzanas. So what apples are we talking about? Those. So it's, it, it, it is giving us information about the nouns. Five singers. Remember that the numbers also function as adjectives because it's telling us how much or how many things we have. Then many questions. Again, we are talking about questions, but how much or how many questions? Many. Last question, and that is the position of the question. And whose house? Uh, talking about a person, the owner, or something like that. Así que estas palabras nos están a nosotros describiendo, dando más información acerca de los nombres. Nos están dando eh, información específica como el número, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántas hay? Eh, ¿En qué posición se encuentra? ¿Cómo está el día? Eh, ¿De quién hablamos específicamente? En all of the things. Then, we are going to see the classification of the adjectives. We have uh, some uh, classifications or we can say groups of adjectives that have a specific name. Because we know that we have a lot of words uh, related to this topic, but in that case, we are going to divide it into a specific groups. Lo vamos a dividir en grupos específicos. 
para saber de qué trata cada grupo y qué palabras encontramos en cada grupo. So, we have adjectives are classified into We have the first group that are adjectives of quality. This adjective describes the noun that is. Also, they tell us about the quality of the person, place, or thing to which we are referring. It's talking about the qualities, quality. So it's telling us what are the qualities or the characteristics or the, something that the person has, the place or the thing. So in that case, it's, still, it's talking about quality. They describe the noun. They tell us about the quality. of the person. Place or thing. Okay, I'm so sorry for that. I was having some troubles with the connection, but I'm here again. So, we are going to continue with the topic. So, let's see. Okay, we were saying that uh, we were talking about place and uh, things to which we are referring. Okay, in this case, we have uh, the following adjectives. But, let's see. This one, that is the uh, adjective of quality, is divided into another uh, specific information. Okay. Esta también está dividida en otras como categorías un poco más pequeñas because we have such adjectives can be formed in the following ways. Tenemos diferentes formas en las que lo vamos a ver. For example, we have for nouns, for, from verbs, and from other adjectives. In this case, we have these adjectives that are formed by other ones. Son adjetivos que eh, se forman a partir de otros. El primero es a partir de un nombre, el segundo a partir de un verbo, y el tercero, a partir de otro adjetivo. So, in this case, the first classification or the first group is divided into three small groups. Está dividido en tres grupos más pequeños. Let's see the first one. Let's see, let's see. Okay, this one. And the first one is from nouns. And it says that we have some examples. And we have here. Vamos a ver eh, cómo se forman estos, estos adjetivos a partir de un nombre. It's like when we are learning eh, some topics in Spanish when we are in school. Um, we have a topic that is related to this one, that are the um, nombres compuestos y nombres propios. So, in, this, in that case, it's not 
like talking about the name of the of the people. In that case, is referring to the creation of um, some words depending on others. And in this case, it's the same because we have a noun and we add something at the end and we can have an adjective. So it is like a, we are making a new word uh, with the ending. So in this case, we have the example. And the number one is gold. Gold is a noun. And we are going to transform that noun into an adjective. So in that case, I'm going to add something at the end. Gold, golden. Gold, oro, golden, algo dorado. So in that case, I have a word and an adjective. Then we have another one. We have power. That is a noun. And I'm going to transform that word into an adjective. And I have powerful. Poder, poderoso. And then we have the last one that is dirt and dirty. Dirt, suciedad, sucio. Suciedad de una cosa, sucio de que algo está sucio o alguien es sucio. So in that case, we have these adjectives uh, from some nouns. And we're going to see some examples with those um, uh, uh, adjectives. For example, we have here um, let's see I love my golden ring. It is precious. Mm, then, I have a powerful mind. I have a powerful mind. And the last one, she has Dirty hands because she was laying. Mm, we can say she was laying outside. So in that case, we have three sentences. I love. In this case, I can do it in, in past. Uh, I love my golden ring. It is precious. Me encanta o amo mi eh, anillo dorado. Es precioso. I have a powerful mind. Tengo una mente poderosa. She had dirty hands because she was playing outside. Ella tenía las manos sucias porque estuvo jugando afuera. So in that case, we have three different sentences. Then, we have the number one that is from nouns. Now we are going to see the second one of this classification or of this group. We have from verbs. Vamos a obtener adjetivos de los verbos. So let's see. We have the first one. Years. Use, that is a verb, start. Then we have the adjective useful. Then we have talk, talkative. Alguien que habla mucho, ¿verdad? And please, pleasant. Algo placentero. So in that case, also we are going to create adjectives from the verbs. We are going to use the base form of those words, and we are going to add some endings 
some suffixes and then we are going to create these adjectives. But not all the adjectives are created like this. These are some examples. And we are going to create some sentences with those adjectives. So let's see. For example, I mean, in the number one, we have useful. Mm, let's see. That book is very useful. I know that she is very talkative. And the last one, have a lesson, vacation. So in the first and second one, we know that in some cases when we are using the adjective, um, we need to write first the adjective and then the noun that we are like describing. But in some cases, we can also do something like this. Um, in this case, when you know what are the nouns that you are describing, you can use the adjective at the end, because also you are using some adverbs in this case or something like that. So in that case, we have the number one, that book is very useful. And the second one, I know that she's very talkative. And the last one, I have a pleasant vacation. And we are in the number three. The number three is from other adjectives. Vamos a transformarlo, vamos a sacarlo de otros adjetivos. And we have the first one, that is just, let's see, we have ran and reddish. Red and reddish. In this case, red, we know that it's a color, and colors are the adjectives because they are describing something and we have the other adjective because we are uh, taking some adjectives to to do this one and reddish is like in Spanish like rojizo so in that case is another uh, adjective so in this case we are going to use just one for the example so we know that in the first group we have three more categories um, because in that case we are saying that we have a lot of options that we can have about the adjective. So in this case we have three different uh, kind of adjectives in the first one because we are talking about quality. Estamos hablando de la cualidad y tenemos tres diferentes grupos que viene del de nombre de los verbos y de los adjetivos. Pero, ¿de qué hablan esto? De cualidades. En el, en el primer grupo, we have golden. Es una cualidad, pero más que todo física, ¿verdad? Se ve por fuera. Powerful también es una, una cualidad, es algo poderoso. Eh, no lo podemos eh, tocar a, o, o ver a simple vista, pero sabemos que algo es poderoso cuando tiene... Um, ese poder de hacer las cosas. Then we have very, that is another quality, or something that is talkative, useful, and all of that thing. So, second category. Vamos a ver la segunda categoría. That is in number two. Adjective goes quantity. En esta ya no es quality, es quantity. Aquí hablamos de cantidades. 
And it says that this kind of adjective refers to the quantity, how much of something. They are not countable. Some uh, such adjectives are some, much, little, and enough. In this case, we are talking about um, quantities that are not countable or uncountable um, uh, nouns, for example. We were talking about that topic, so in that case, you know that we have countable and non-countable nouns. So in this case, we are going to use that information for this kind of adjective. So, it says, they refer to the quantity And we have the question, how much of something they are not countable Some such adjectives are so much and little in and up. And we have an example. There is very little sugar in my tea. There is very little sugar in my tea. So in this case, we're using little to refer to that we don't have a lot of something. Hay poca azúcar en mi té. So little is referring to that. Está refiriéndose a que hay poca cantidad de algo. And we are going to create another sentence. For example, I think... There is enough There is enough time to finish the assignment. And in this case we have the adjective enough. And we can say, creo que hay suficiente tiempo para terminar la tarea, por ejemplo. I think there is enough time, suficiente tiempo. Then we have the number three. And they are the adjectives of numbers. This one refers to how many things, places, people, etc. there are, or uh, the order of something. Example, first, second, then, one, and many. In this case, we are talking about uh, numbers. How many things we have. ¿Cuántas cosas tenemos? En este caso serían contables porque vamos a utilizar los números como también para hablar de los lugares. First, second, five, two, three, and all of that eh, numbers to explain how many things that we have.
Rapper. Second. Pen. One and many. And we have some examples. The first one said, she came first in the race. She came first in the race. And the second one, several books, several books were stolen from the library. And if we want to use the numbers, we can uh, have some examples. Like, I have one t-shirt, or in this case, uh, there is one t-shirt, or I only have a one or in letters a one I mean one black shirt. We are using a two adjectives in this case, but we are using one also. I only have one black shirt. We are talking about the shirt that is just one, and we are using the color. Now, I need you to write on the chat two sentences using numbers. Voy a pedirles que escriban dos oraciones que lleven números para describir alguna cosa. Estamos utilizando los adjetivos pero los adjetivos, los adjetivos de números. So, I need you to write two sentences on the chat, and I'm going to write the sentences on the document. So, let's see. I'm going to write here, and I'm going to make a list. Así que vamos a escribir oraciones que lleven números refiriéndonos a las cosas. We have first, second, third, fourth, one, two, three, four, many, several. So we can write two sentences. I will give you a couple of minutes to write your sentences. Okay, I have some sentences, but I'm going to wait for more sentences to, to write it in the document.
Okay, I'm going to write uh, the sentence right now. So let's see. I just have one dog. I was, in this case, I was the second the second people to connect I mean to the class. Yes, I know. The telephone has just ten digits. I am the second I am the second child. I am the second child, we can uh, have it like that. Then I have to cap, to cap, one is green, and the other is red. I need to apple. for the recipe. Why? Ah, okay. My family and I have two dogs in my house. Several, I mean, several chickens was a lot in the farm. Several chickens were lost in the farm because you're using plural. I have to get in my house. I found twenty dollars. I I taste the first orange from the bed ring. I sold to cell phone this week. But I have a little sun in my shoe is for the previous one. For this one, let's see. For this one, the number two. 
for the uh, adjective of, of quantity, in that case, we can use the little. Little, little, little. She gets first in the job. Mm. She gets first in her job. If you know if both cards are new, I get I I I think. Don't worry, that's okay. And the last one, the child. Have two bolts. Okay. Thank you for these uh, sentences. I mean, half. Because it is not plural, it's a singular. Okay. So, we have different sentences in which we can use the numbers. Um, also, it is referring to all of the things. So, in that case, when you are going to use numbers, remember that we are using the adjectives also because they are describing um, something about the noun. So, then we have something else about these adjectives, and it says that sometimes the same adjectives may be written both as an adjective of quantity and as an adjective of number. And it is used to qualify both countable and uncountable nouns. We know that the adjective of quantity refers to non-countable nouns. And the adjective of number is referring to the countable noun. Ya sabemos que estos son diferentes porque el adjetivo de cantidad nos está refiriendo, o el adjetivo quantity se refiere a los nombres no contables, pero los eh, adjetivo of number se refiere a los nombres que sí podemos contar, algo que sí podemos contar, pero hay eh, a veces estos dos se pueden utilizar para ambos, so, we can use it for both, for countable and uncountable nouns. And we are going to see some examples of that uh, specification. So let's see some examples of these so far. So we have here. Number one, and it says, I ate some food. I ate some, in this case some is the adjective, some food. 
And we have the same adjective, and we say, some children are playing in the park. Some children are playing in the park. En la primera vemos que es un nombre no contable. I ate some food for me. Alguna comida, pero no sabemos cuánta cantidad, qué comió, o something like that. En el otro, some children are playing in the park. Algunos niños están jugando en el parque. En ese caso sí los podemos contar. ¿Por qué? Son personas, ¿no? But we can use some in both cases, because in that case we can use it as an adjective of quantity and also as an adjective of um, number. So in that case, it is like that. Let me take this out. Okay. Then we have another one. You have no idea what this means to me. You have no idea what this means to me. So no tienes idea de qué es lo que significa esto para mí. In this case, we are talking about an idea. This is something that we cannot count. This is just an, we can call it an abstract idea because it's something of the mind. And then we have, there is no money in the purse. There is no money, no hay dinero, that we can count money. But also money is, just the word money is also used as a non-countable noun, but if you are, we are talking about something specific, it's related to countable nouns. Then we have another one, and uh, this one said, he did not eat any food. Él no comió ninguna comida. And we have, are there any clocks, I mean, are there any chalks in the box? Are there any chalks? In the box, hay alguna tiza en la caja. So in that case, we can use both for countable and non-countable nouns. So in that, in some cases, because it is not like all the adjectives that we are going to use for this, for this like a specification, because in that case, it is not like that. And we are going to end with uh, the topic of the adjective, because we have just a couple of minutes, we are going to see the number four, because we have here the number three, that are the adjective of number and the specification for that part. And now we are going to see the number four. There are the demonstrative adjectives. Número cuatro, para finalizar, demonstrative adjective. Demonstrative, I know. So, in this case, in this information, we have that the demonstrative adjective indicate the noun that is taken out the person, place, or thing to which we are referring. They answer to the question, which? Some such adjectives are this, that, this, and those. Para los adjetivos demostrativos, estamos indicando que el nombre, así como es el mismo, está eh, marcando, ¿verdad?, la persona, el lugar o la cosa a la que nos estamos refiriendo. 
y responden la pregunta cuál, which, some such adjectives, en este caso tenemos this, that, this for plurals and those. So in that case, it's related to the question which. So we are going just to have the um, the information and we are going to end the session. Tomorrow we are going to continue with that part and um, we have just some more information about the adjective because we are going to see the comparative ones because we are going to need the comparative adjectives and then we are going to have the vocabulary and the exercises. So we are going to end the session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow in the session number two of the week number so have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Tell me. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Okay.